How many of you were born in the month of June? Wave your hands to me. You know, in the month of June, 19 what? My God remembered me and gave me a son. The only person I know the birthday is my wife and my daughter. The rest of us, I don't know where we are born. <laughs> Including myself. I know the dates, the day, but who knows? Sometimes I miss it. But God remembered me in the month of June to and give me a hair for my home. And it is in the month of June. So those who are June people, you are mightily blessed. They are good, they are good stewards. I can tell you that. They love the Lord. Anybody who was born in June who doesn't love the Lord is not born in June. Hallelujah. Let's rise up together as we bring our offering, our Thanksgiving offering. You were wedded in June. You were born in June before the Lord. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for me. What a power. something. You mean all these people were born in June? And wedded in June. I must not offend them. They have majority to vote me out of this house. This is interesting. 
Is it not written, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever? As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time henceforth and forever. For when the Lord brought back the captivity to Zion, we were like men who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth with him, bearing seed to sow for sowing, shall doubtlessly come again, will rejoice in bringing the sheaves with them. Our God and King, we thank you for these people. There are some who remember the day they were born and they curse the day. Thank you because it is you who have sustained them, protected them, and guarded them all the days of their life. Up to this very moment that they can stand before your altar and say thank you for everything you have done. Our God and King, we thank you for all their trials and tribulations. We thank you for all the times of downs and ups. In the midst of storms and hailstones, they have been brought forth as gold. Today, they know you, established in you, they serve you, and they walk with you. Father, may your glory never depart from them. I commit them to you as in this their new year, I prophesy. It shall be the year of restoration for you. As I read, you will see, when the Lord restored back the captive to Zion, we are like men who dreamed. The Lord will restore your strength. He will restore your life. He will restore your wealth. He will restore your home. All the years the locals have eaten in your life shall be restored in this new year. The Lord will protect your life. You will continuously be a useful instrument in the hands of the Lord in the household of faith. The Lord will guide you through your journey on earth. And when the days are over, you will see Christ before you see death. Your children shall be mighty in the land. You will live to see your children's children. Lord, we thank you for people who were wedded (coughs) this month, some years ago. As they stand before your throne, may you fulfill Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 9 over them. The Bible says, enjoy life with your wife whom you love. This is your only portion in all these, your meaningless days. All these, your meaningless time that God has given you under the sun. Lord, I pray, may the ability to enjoy their love life be given to them all. Because you are the one who has been with them from the first day till this hour. Not by their strength, but by your grace and mercy. May your grace multiply over them. May nations be born in this home. And the nations that have been born, Father, may they fulfill destiny. Amen. Sons and daughters that are coming out of this family, may they be great and mighty in the land. May the, may the covenant of the righteous be fulfilled ever in these families. Amen. May their light never be sniffed off. Amen. Everything they need for God, for, for wealth, and for godliness, things they need for their earthly fulfillment, and spiritual mandate, may they be manifest over them. Amen. Whatever be the desires of all these people, both those who are born, those who are married, those who come before you with covenant, who have made vows and they are paying their vows. Father, may you look at the offering they hold in their hand. Let it be a memorial unto you. Amen. You said, fulfill your vows to the Lord and then call upon the name of the Lord. You said, no one should come before me empty-handed. And because we bring our offering to you, And these people honor you with their substance. May you honor them. Father, the basket of their their flower will not be used up. Father, the vat of their oil shall remain throughout their lives. May doors never be shut against them. May favor be granted them in every way they go. 
Father, Lord, by this time next year, when these people will come before your throne, may they have great causes to glorify your name. Maybe there is something in the heart of these people and those who are well wishers with them standing before your throne. Maybe there are wishes in their heart that they wish it should have happened before today and they have not happened. I call in the name of the Lord of hosts, your covenant with the righteous, and I say, the Lord shall fulfill you. Amen. That which you have in your heart, by the time you come here next year, they will have been in your hand. Amen. The Lord will bring you success in everything you lay your hands on, Amen. and it shall fulfill your days. With long life, it will satisfy you. It will show you his salvation. Amen. And in Jesus' anointed name, we are praying. Amen. Lord, this is the holy offering that they hold in their hand. And may your fire come down from heaven and consume their holy sacrifice. In Jesus' holy and anointed name we are praying. Amen and amen and amen. You do well, Baba, you do well, Baba, you do well. Baba, you do well, Baba, you do well, Baba, you do well. Baba, you do well. Baba, you do well.